Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host, Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So today, I'm going to continue with exploring the wonderful world of cloud video production with TriCaster Now. This time, I want to show you how to get your local NDI sources up to TriCaster Now using the power of NDI Bridge literally bridging the gap between local and cloud video sources, giving you another exciting way for producing your shows. So, let me show you how it's done, son. All right, all right, all right. So, I am on my desktop computer right now, and I am running TriCaster now, so I'm in the nice DCV client right now, uh, currently logged into this remotely. And now let's start taking a look at how to get uh, our so local sources uh, into NDI. Uh, bridge over to TriCaster Now. Okay, so if I open up my TriCaster Now software, you'll see when I click on this bottom uh, tab, I can launch TriCaster Now, which I already have open, and then I can launch NDI Bridge, which I already have open as well. Okay, so let's minimize this and take a look. So I have NDI Bridge. You can see uh, once I uh, went and uh, set this up, uh, when I hit connect, it logs in all these details for me as far as the server IP that I'm pointing to and also the encryption key that's in here as well. And then it has my bridge name, which is my computer's name, uh, dash bridge in there. And then I'm also using Access Manager uh, just here in my local network to uh, kind of get things, gather things together so I'm not bringing in every source that's all over my office. Okay, cool. So. Now, basically, like you can see right here, I am connected to hosts. I am sending and receiving all of this. And basically, once you're in here, uh, it, you have the option to leave, but we're going to leave that on because we want that to join. Okay. So, on the TriCaster Now side of things, let's go into any one of these different inputs. So, I'm just going to go into SRT number one. All right. And then on my sources, if I click on this drop down, you'll see these are my local sources, which are just going to be like Skype TX and SRT uh, Listen. Uh, and then I ha you'll see you have an option here for TriCaster L-1, which is the name of my TriCaster now. So this will be the sources that it sees from itself kind of thing if I wanted to bring things back in. Uh, but then underneath, you'll see, hey, there's my computer name and bridge. And here's all the different sources that are broadcasting uh, on my local network into this system. So, for example, if I click on Desktop Cam PTZ UHD, which is my camera, click on that. And check it out. Hey, this is me here in my office. So this is my local source being uh, broadcast over NDI and then using NDI Bridge, bringing it up to the cloud to bring in this production. So pretty dang awesome. All right, now uh, let's see this uh, going backwards. I'm going to bring up a, a lower third here. Uh, so I'm just going to bring on my downstream gear. It says TriCaster Now, live feed. And now let's go over to my NDI Studio Monitor. And I want to show you the other side of things. So that's me sending that signal up. And then I can also bring it back down. So if I click on Studio Monitor over here, you'll see those are all the local sources that showed up uh, on the, uh, the sources I sent up to NDI Bridge. And then underneath here, we have an option. You'll see TriCaster, which is what I have it named uh, on the TriCaster Now NDI Bridge. And I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, if I click on that, there's my TriCaster L1. And then if I click on Mix 1-1, hey, there it is. So now you can see that that is the feed coming from my TriCaster Now back down into my system. So literally bridging the gap. So I can send my uh, video signals up, and then I can also bring them back down into my local source. Okay, so now let me go ahead and show you something else. So uh, from here, let's go ahead and exit out. So right now I'm just bringing in my sources from uh, my, my local network here, but let's say that we want to bring in uh, other sources from another network. So say like I'm in San Antonio, Texas, but if I wanted to bring in NDI sources from say our uh, Norway offices, let me show you how to do that as well. So uh, I'm going to exit out of live production, go to shut down, go to administrator mode, and let me exit out to Windows. Cool. Now you'll see this is the Windows side of my TriCaster Now instance. And at the bottom, uh, those a applications are already just running in the background automatically. So this is NDI Bridge. And if I open that up, you'll see there's all of my sources in here. Uh, and then when I showed a second ago that it showed TriCaster as the name of my TriCaster Now, well, this will be where you would go to alter that and make it say TriCaster Now or name it something else. It's kind of up to you. Okay? So uh, what we're going to need to do 
is uh, say I wanted to bring in another uh, uh, NDI bridge source. What you can do is we just need to get these settings here, the public IP address, the port number, and this encryption key. All right. So uh, what you could do is I'll say stop this connection here. And uh, what you can do now on NDI Bridge on, say, your other machine. Now, I, I don't have a, my, an office in Norway. I can show you and remote into that at the moment because I'm just doing this by myself. So this is conceptually what I can do is I can grab this information uh, by just hitting uh, copy like this and then going over here to mine. And, of course, I have to leave that NDI Bridge instance. And then I can paste those settings into here. Uh, so I could go through and say, hey, let me copy my encryption key as well, like this. Uh, and then just basically bring it over into here. Now, obviously, they match right now. But that's how you could bring in a, a additional NDI uh, sources uh, via bridge to your TriCaster Now instance. And then to put everything back to normal, just say, I'll click join here and start over here. And then those will start to communicate. And there you go. You can see on both sides, these are now connected to uh, this is on the join side. So I am joining the host, which is my TriCaster now. So now I have my NDI sources back up and running, uh, going all just over NDI Bridge. All right. Now this is revolutionary. Okay. So now we can start bringing in local sources from wherever. So this will be another way for you to uh, broadcast your shows. So you can have a uh, NDI network uh, set up uh, in say facility A, and having all of that information sent up to the cloud, and then your TriCaster operator can literally log in from any. Windows uh, machine and uh, start to switch their show using TriCaster Now and the power of NDI Bridge. Hey, there you have it. Another helpful step in producing shows in the cloud using TriCaster Now. Now, I'll be diving more into TriCaster Now in the future, so be sure to subscribe to the VizRT YouTube channel at youtube.com slash official for more. And you can find more information about TriCaster Now and other VizRT products and services by contacting your local VizRT partner or visiting our website, VizRT.com. And you can also get professional training with VizRT products by signing up for Viz University at VizRT.com slash community slash Viz dash university. And if you're posting your work using VizRT products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags VizRT, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you're working on. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials.